Well guys, welcome back to Corn Dog Caravan. If you are needing to replace your driver side mirror right here, you're watching the right video. So a couple months back, we were traveling through Oregon and a large blackbird, raven, crow, whatever. It was big and black and not the size of a turkey, but when it hit this mirror, cause it decided it wanted to take off last minute in front of the van, had nowhere to go. It was either gonna be the bumper or the mirror or even something up on the rack. I'm glad it hit the mirror, but that was an expensive hit because as you can see here, it totally cracked the upper mount. All the functionality still works, but yeah, it cracked it. And lucky me, it is a unit. I know the ending ends in, I think, WAG. I think that's the newest model, but our 2018 Ram Permaster, I don't think it matters what model, but we're on the 3500 extended 159 high roof. But this has luckily the heated mirror it has the temperature sensor in it and it also has the power folding as well as obviously power control of the mirrors themselves so uh, if i hit the power button power button to fold it these suckers will fold in automatically and then reopen when you hit the button which just means that when it's time to replace it it's more expensive so the tools needed are pretty simple we'll walk through that next and we'll get started keep watching guys all right to get started I've got a little trim tool that I picked up at Harbor Freight because I was trying to do this earlier and yeah, it marked up the plastic a little bit. So I'm just gonna work my way around first. There's a metal clip here that I wanna try to have come out last. I wanna just kind of work my way around the front here because I think there's also another clip. All right, so there's one control for the mirror and then this is the control for the power folding. And there should be a little clip here. All right, so that's that. Maybe clean that up while I've got it out. As good as I can. Now down inside, so these are the wires that need to come out. These do go down and into the door. Down through here, so I may have to... Yeah. Yeah, I may have to take the door panel off. We'll see. All right, so next step, I want to pull this trim back. Probably do it with my hands, but I've got the tool, so why not try it? And I just need to pull this back to be able to get to the four screws here. We'll get that next. Now we're gonna be using a T40. This has never been removed. This vehicle was brand new when I purchased it. I should probably get a socket, but I'll just do it this way. 
I'm in no rush. Now I am gonna leave that top screw in. There's a hook on the back of the mirror. I'll show you that in a minute. That keeps it from falling off the door while you're doing what I'm doing. But I wanna be certain that it doesn't fall off. So I'll just leave that one screw in there just as extra insurance. And I may go ahead and just pull this out. And there's three little clips here, or slips. extra careful as I can because I don't want to break a clip or anything or scratch my tent. And that booger is not wanting to come out. There we go. Yeah, so there's three clips. One came out. One of three came out. It stayed right here. I'll try to remove that and put it back in when I put in the trim. Okay, so that mirror is held on by that pin. So they say to remove it from the bottom first. I'm gonna close the door a bit. I'm gonna close it all the way. So there's my wire coming out. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to remove a door panel. And there's the little, there's the little pin with the little catch to keep that from falling out. So I wanna put that back in place. And temporarily I am gonna put a screw back in. turns all right so let's get back to this yes yeah, so let's go ahead and take out the speaker or I should say the speaker cover Looking at that high quality speaker, I tell you. Is that a Martin Logan? Yeah, I don't think so. So this is just held in by three Phillips head screws. Kind of surprised it's not a Torx. But Ram tends to do things the way they want to do with just using just different different screws and what all right so let's take the speaker out okay so 
you can see down in this recessed area. So I disconnected the three connectors so I could get access to this area below. There were two more connectors. I believe these are the uh, wire specific to the mirror. And you'll notice the receiving, the female end, these actually have these little clips that they slide on and off of. So what I did was, before I disconnected them, I slid those up and off that little groove. There's a little keyway. And then I was able to reach these little connectors. You actually have to pull these out. A lot of times you pull those in, you know, you kind of squeeze them and pull. These you have to kind of pull out from this side and then push up or pull up. And then now I've taken that last screw. I'm gonna close the door and hopefully I'll be able to maneuver this wire out of the door here. Yeah, there it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and open the door back up. I'm going to hold the mirror. I don't want to scratch my paint. I do want to move quickly. And I'm going to stand up here. And work that wire out through the door. And there it goes. There's the two wires. So the installation is the reverse. And for those watching still, part number P is in Paul, 5 V is in Victor, F is in Frank, 0, 1, J, X, W, A, G. And that is the exact replacement that I purchased. Looks like it was manufactured June 29th of 2017. This is the 2018 model. Try to sneak these wires back in. Probably see a little bit better if I close the door. I don't know if you can see in the video, but right there, there's a hole that these need to go into. Get these close and then I'll hook the mirror and I'll put it back on. And actually, you know what, before I do that, I'll do a little quick cleanup on that. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the mirror back on. I was able to feed it through the hole. And now I just got to reach in underneath. But before I do that, I'm going to put in one screw just as extra insurance. All right. Feel the wire coming through. I just have to feed it through this hole right here. So those are reconnected. And then that's only for the mirror. Those are the only two connections for the mirror, uh, or at least when you replace the mirror. And then you do have the three controls here. And then I'm gonna wipe out this little sill. Okay. 
Why not clean it good while I'm in here, right? Hopefully I'll never break another mirror. So that's good and clean. Next I'll be making connections with the control panel. Let me wipe out the inside of the switches and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got my three connectors here clicked in. I heard a good click. And then I did notice that this front um, element here for the control panel has a like a tab or a finger that has to go into the door first so simply drop that in first and then click in from the back and then there's and there we go so that is back in and then next I just need to put in the four screws to reattach the mirror and put the trim back in and it will be done. Alright, so the speaker is now attached. Again, you can just take the speaker out, leave the connector connected and then remove the speaker. You could also, I guess, maybe try to remove that before you have the speaker removed. It may just give you a little bit more uh, ability just to disconnect it. Or maybe I just need to learn how to disconnect a, a connector, right? I got all four of these reattached here. One here, here. And then next I'll just get the trim piece in and then we'll test the mirror. Be right back. All right, so I got that slid back in. So you move it from right to left, bring it in. There was one, two, three. One, two, three. And then at that point, you just snap in the snaps here, here, and I've got to follow my finger, right? Here, here, and here. Just pops in really nice. And then we'll get the speaker cover back on. I'll tell you, this really does show you that if you need to replace the speakers, it is super easy. Just clip in and snap, snap, that easy. And then you've got the front clips. So, all right, so the moment of truth. Get the key in. Make sure the window goes down. Window goes down, window goes up. Left mirror control. So, we just need to get the mirror adjusted, and we're done. So, guys, thanks for watching. Really, had I not been recording, I had to make sure no cars were coming. I don't want to get hit by a car today. Super easy. Super, super easy. Uh, only took probably 10 minutes once I really figured out, you know, how it worked i've seen a couple of videos but until you do it yourself you really never know if they're showing you everything and i like to show you guys everything when it comes to you know doing a repair so thanks for watching to this point if you like what you saw give me a like comment below if you have any comments or questions about this install um, i think i do have a home for the two mirrors inside the uh, mirror assembly those are taken um, or what do they say those have somebody's name on it so um, yeah um, so I bought it off eBay the supplier had a hundred percent satisfaction so I felt pretty safe and I'll give them a good review thanks for watching guys bye
this right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Keep the sky on your mind 